Welcome to the Acevedo Video Show. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about Blu-ray releases of the spring season. Yes, this is the first episode we're going to do in 2022. So I have a list here with a few releases and all that, and unfortunately, Leo can be here to actually go through them, so I'm going to do them myself. So let's begin with the list here. The first one we have is My Hero Academia Season 5 Part 1 Blu-ray release. So yeah, we're actually going to finally get My Hero Academia Season 5 on Blu-ray. Well, the first part of it. So let's look into the what it includes here. The set will include episode A9 to 101. It will include the English dub and the Japanese audio track, promo videos and a commercial, Texas opening and closing song. It will be released by Funimation on a 4 disc set with a slipcover on two DVDs and two Blu-rays and along with a digital copy on March 29th, 2022. So not that much bonus features for or the part one release of season five for my Eric Damien and all that. But I'm guessing that part are like saving up a, a few a few stuff for the part two release, similar to how they did with this, the My Eric Damien season four complete set, where basically the part one was first released and part two was really had two different releases. One for like, you know, the regular standard edition Blu-ray with a slipcover, but the other is for this box set. Which I actually pre-ordered and then it came in a day before release. Pretty cool. Oh and all that. So part they're gonna do a similar thing where they're just gonna have like this like this box set for the second release and all of them. So that's for my Damio. The next Blu-ray release is probably much more a bit exciting. Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000 Limited Edition 2 Movie Collection 4K Blu-ray Steelbook. So yes, the film Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000 is now getting a Blu-ray release and a 4K Ultra HD release. Now I'm going to get into the details about it, but let's read. Presented within a limited edition steelbook including heavy metal on a 4K Ultra HD a disc and a Blu-ray plus an exclusive Blu-ray debut of Heavy Metal 2000. So yeah, you're only getting one film on 4K, which is Heavy Metal, the first one. But uh, Heavy Metal 2000 will only get like a Blu-ray release and all of that. Also, it's ACR, the exclusive Blu-ray debut. In other words, probably this will be the only time you actually get Heavy Metal 2000 on Blu-ray if you bought this limited edition steelbook. Because what I'm thinking here is that Heavy Metal will be, you know, could be re-released on 4K and Blu-ray, but not Heavy Metal 2000. So let's go into the individual disc. This one is the 4K Blu-ray for Heavy Metal, a brand new 4K restoration with HDR from the original camera negative that was proved by the film's producer, Iron Reitman. The Iron Reitman is the guy who directed Ghostbusters, which is something I just found out. Not that Iron Reitman directed Ghostbusters, but he was the producer of Heavy Metal. That's an interesting thing I didn't know about it. It's kind of it's unfortunate that he passed away earlier this year. But in any case, a newly mixed Extolby Atmos audio track for a brand new immersive experience, u utilizing all new and enhanced sound effects, supervised by uh, producer Ivan Ryman. It also includes includes a 2022 5.1 mix and the original 1981 theatrical Dolby stereo audio track. So yeah, you're getting several audio tracks here. The a new Dolby Atmos track with new sound effects, all new enhanced sound effects, but you're also getting a 2021 on 5.1 mix and the original theatrical audio, which is great by the way they actually include the original theatrical audio, because with some like Blu-ray releases here where they only include like the 5.1 track and not the original little, little like audio track that was used for theaters. Heavy Metal, a look back and all new retrospective featuring reflections from producer Ivan Ryman and all new celebrity fan interviews that includes Kevin Smith, Norman Reedus, and more. Never knew Kevin Smith was a fan of Heavy Metal. I knew he was a fan of comics, but not this movie. Disc 2 is the Blu-ray of Heavy Metal. The film is presented in HD with a 5.1 audio track, original feature, or length rough cut with optional commentary by Carl Masek. Now, it kind of confusing me there, of how, why there was a commentary by Carl Masek. But then I realized, oh yeah, he made that book. The Art of Heavy Metal. So Carl Masek actually made the book. But in case, a documentary called Imagining Heavy Metal. The latest scenes with optional commentary 
an alternate framing story with commentary. Most of these bonus features are part of from the previous Blu-ray release of the film. And this 3 is Heavy Metal 2000 only on Blu-ray. Which is the, the exclusive debut of the film that was not previously available in HD. Which is quite interesting. Interesting there. A brand new restoration of Heavy Metal 2000 with a 5.1 audio track. Jules Stain for Super Goddess, voice talent, animation tests and animation comparisons. And that's all the bonus features they have and what's going to include in this set, which is a lot by the way. This will be released by Sony Pictures on a 3 disc limited edition in Steelbook with 2 Blu-rays and 1 4K UHD disc on April 19, 2022. So yeah, that's the limited edition 2 movie collection of Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000 and all of them. Most likely I might like get this because I never seen Heavy Metal or, or neither Heavy Metal 2000 and all that. I'm kind of interested because you know the film is like sort of made with Robos Rotoscope. So yeah, this will be interesting to watch. And let's get into the last but not least Blu-ray release. Bella, the G Kids and Shop Factory Blu-ray release. I got to see this movie in theaters when it came out in the US and all that around January. And it was really like a really great, it was like a really great animated film and all that. Uh, the music was great, the animation was really well done, I did like it. I was planning to like make a theater review of it, but then I got caught up with a few things that I couldn't like make it in time. Plus I think it was like a week after Rapala came out that I was planning to like do it and I was like, you know, you know, if I do it like too late, what's the point of doing it and all of that. In any case, but the funny thing is that when I went to see the movie, only a few people actually show up to the theater I went to. And there was only about seven people in the theater, not including me. And we're all like spread out through like the uh, theater room and all that, just watching the movie. But the first like 20 minutes, just like waiting for everybody to show up, I was like walking around like, this is cool, an empty movie theater. I actually took some footage. Check it out. So I'm currently in the theater to watch Bella, you know, the new anime film that came out from G Kids. And looking around, there's nobody here. Well, I could tell like two people bought tickets, but look at this. Yep, no one here. Yep, no one is here. I'm hoping I'm not the only one who showed up. And that's where I sit. So that's what I recorded in the movie theater and all that. You see it was quite empty before people actually showed up into it. I could like talk about my experience of watching the scene of going to see the movie and all that, but this is about Blu-ray releases, not about the movie Bella. So yeah, maybe next time I might mention it in another video. So for this release there are going to be two editions of the film. A Target exclusive Steelbook edition, which is only going to be sold in Target, which is quite interesting because usually Steelbook editions are on are usually in Best Buy, not in Target for some reason. But in any case, there's also going to be a standard edition with just a slipcover, and both of them will include a DVD and Blu-ray. So let's get into the bonus features, the making of Boa, a feature about making the film, a conversation with director Mamoru Hosada. I actually had a hard time pronouncing his last name, but then I simplified it by going Hosoda. Then I just like went Hosada. So yeah, that's how you could pronounce Hosada's name. Just go Hosoda, Hosada. But in case. The music of Bella, which is great by the way, when you go see the movie and all. I got to see the Japanese version of it, then I got to see the English, the English dub version. I heard they made English version of the songs and they're good and all that, but you know, I haven't checked the English dub yet. Hosa draws Bella's scene breakdowns, find the voice of Bella, betrayed by the voice actors of the film, Marvin Hosada at animation in his film, which I'm presuming is a festival, design gallery and scene back breakdowns, Kyle McNeil performs ga Gals of Song, all the bonus f features will be on the Blu-ray disc, but not on the DVD. So if you want to see the bonus features, you gotta see them on Blu-ray and all that, and you gotta get rid of that DVD player and get the Blu-ray. We're talking about Blu-ray releases here, no DVD releases. It will be released by G-Kids and Shout Factory on Blu-ray and DVD on May 17th. 2022. So yeah, that Blu-ray release is getting closer to the summer, which starts uh, I think around May 25th or June. And all that. 
So, yeah. And also, May will be our next Blu-ray episode. We just have to wait for a few months for it. Well, like two and all that. So, yeah, that's all the Blu-ray releases we got here. We got a few exciting ones here, like uh, Lupin the Deferred, Mystery Mamo. I'm excited for to see Bella, because I really like the film and all that. So, see you in the next one, where I actually try to come up with what we're going to do here. I'm thinking of doing an episode about the Disney Renaissance film, films and all that. You know, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. But we'll see about that if I actually could make it. So that's all the uh, episode. Have a nice day, and later on, come back to our video store.